In a court in Malaysia, 11 suspects are charged with abducting a Palestinian man in late September. A local media report said he was allegedly snatched from outside of the Star Residences 2 building in Kuala Lumpur, beaten and bundled into a waiting car. A friend he was with escaped and alerted the police. They eventually tracked down the abductors to a house on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur and freed the Palestinian. Malaysia's caretaker home minister says officials are investigating claims Mossad was behind the abduction. An interior ministry spokesman in Gaza had no doubt the Israelis were involved. We condemn and denounce this new Israeli crime against our people. We thank the Malaysian authorities and security services for their great efforts in thwarting this kidnapping attempt. According to a local report, men believed to be Israeli intelligence agents interrogated their captive in a video call on matters related to Hamas and its armed wing, the Qassam Brigades. He was reportedly questioned about his experience in computer application development and Hamas's strength in developing software. The suspects are all Malaysians. A counter-terrorism expert says it's not unheard of for foreign intelligence agencies to recruit locals. Well, I don't think it is uh, only exclusively the Mossad uh, method of operation. I think it has been uh, done by the other intelligence services too. Uh, we can see this thing happen across the world that whenever you're not capable of uh, operating independently, especially if it is too obvious that if you are present in a certain location and it is easily being detected, then it is necessary for you to uh, recruit the local asset and work on your behalf. This is not the first time Mossad is believed to have carried out an operation in Malaysia. In 2018, a Palestinian electrical engineer was gunned down by two assailants on a motorbike as he was heading to a mosque in the capital. His relatives and Hamas have said they believe Mossad was behind the killing, a charge Israel had denied. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.